So yesterday we learned how to use arrays in both C Sharp and in Unity. Today we're going to take a look at another collection called a list. Now to be honest, right out of the gate, I almost always use lists over arrays. You know, there are certain situations where I really shouldn't, but lists are just so flexible and easy to use, I tend to gravitate towards them. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at them. So just like before, I'm going to start off down in the start method. We'll take a look at a list as far as C Sharp goes, and then we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at it and how I use it with Unity. So the first thing I want to do is actually come in and add a new using statement. And we're going to add the system.collection.generic. Now we're going to get into generics a little bit later on. But for now, when I'm creating my list, anything between these greater than and less than signs, uh, just remember it's a data type. And generics allows us to interchange different data types as far as what we're going to use in the list. But for now, just think of it as a type. So I'm creating a list, and this list is going to be of type int. And I'm just going to call it ML for my list. And I'm going to say equal to new list. And we're, there we go, with the int one. And that is it. That's all you have to do to go ahead and create a list in C Sharp. Make sure you define the type. And then you can just start adding to it. Now, the great thing about lists over arrays is that you don't have to worry about the size. Before we went ahead and we created our buttons, we had to go ahead and beforehand set how many buttons we were actually going to store in that array. And if we ever wanted to add more, we had to go ahead and resize it. But with lists, you don't have to actually resize them. It does it automatically for you. So let's go ahead. We're going to say ml.add. And we'll go ahead and we'll add an int. And let's just go ahead and add 100. And we can also say ml.add 200. And so on and so on. As many as you want, or at least as many as you need, we can keep going ahead and adding. And your list will automatically adjust the size that it needs. Now, one additional parameter I did not look at when we were creating our list, if we come into the overloaded methods here, we can actually specify a specific capacity. So we could say, you know, I know I'm going to need five things in here. So we could just say, you know, five right off the bat. But I almost never, I can't remember the last time I've actually specified a size off right off the top. I just go ahead and start adding. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the, the usage of this. So we're going to go ahead and keep the counter. Instead of going with the button length this time, we're going to make sure that we're less than the ml.count. So arrays were length, and with list we're using count. And we're going to go through, and let's go ahead and just print out the, the number we're doing here. So for that, we'll just do ml, and we can access it just like we access the array, cnt, and we'll print out the integer. Let's go ahead and add a few more here first. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some random numbers in here. Oh, we can keep a few 200s in there. That's fine. So let's go ahead. We'll save this off. We're going to jump back into Unity. I'm just going to clear the console while it recompiles and hit start. And there we go. There we go. We have the list 100, 200, 200, 2000, 300, and 200. And of course, it's the same as we have here. Now, there are a few downsides with using lists, they're not as fast as arrays. So if you actually know specifically how many elements you're going to need in your array, you can go ahead and set that up ahead of time. And especially if you're never going to be resizing or anything like that, you are better off to use an array. But I just find myself using lists over and over again, just because it's so versatile and easier to use. So let's take a quick look on how I do it with Unity. So I'm actually going to keep ML. I'm just going to move it up to the top here, put our big boy pants on, keep it private, and use serialized field. And of course, just like with Ints, we can go go ahead and get rid of this. I'll save it off. We'll come back into Unity. And that's the game master we're looking at. And here we are. We have the ML down here. And of course, by default, we have no size. And of course, we should stop it so it can recompile. There we go. Now we'll start it back up. And there we go. Also, we have six elements. And there they are. Now, what I'm going to be using this list for is when the AI goes ahead and starts picking uh, random picks for us, I'm going to go ahead and save those into that list. But before I do that, I'm going to put a little bit of space in here just to keep them separate. And for that, I'm just going to come up, use one of those new spiffy tags. And I'm not sure how much I need. Let's go 15. And that should put a little bit of space in between here for us once it recompiles. There we go. Of course, what we could do, well, let's first off rename this. This is the button order. So that's actually what I'm going to call it button order or color order. Let's do that one. Not a capital C though. And instead of doing space, actually, there's even a better one we can use. Let's do header. And inside the header, we can say 
what this is for. And I'm going to say, let's actually spell it right, color order. I'll go ahead and save that off. And of course, if you want more space, you can actually go ahead and put it in there for you. But before we'll recompile, let's go fix those errors. We no longer can use ML. But I'm going to say ML, then just refactor it so it goes in ahead and changes all the MLs for us. So make sure you select it, right click, refactor, rename, and then type in color order. There we go. That'll get rid of all of our errors for us. And it went ahead and put the, the title for us there. And that's about all we really need to know about lists. There's a lot of properties with lists that you can do. And some of the ones I want you to look at for homework tonight, because we'll be going over tomorrow in class, are clear. We'll be using that one in this class. Uh, count, well, we've already gone over count here. It's just the number of elements in it. And we're going to want to remove. We're not going to use remove in this project, but it is something you have to learn how to do. And of course, we just type all. There's remove, there's remove all. I tend to use clear over remove all. Of course, you can remove the separate ones, but homework on the sheet and the date it is due is also written on there as well. So next up, let's go ahead and create the random function for it. Uh, before I do that though, we are gonna have to cover nums. So tomorrow, we'll go ahead and take a look at enumeration or enums in C Sharp, and then we'll actually start going ahead and creating our random picker. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I can be a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles and falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears.